Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the beat up plan, and this time towards the game Grey Matter. Now, I'm going into this blind, so I can't give you an honest opinion about what exactly this game is. I only have the Steam store to go by, and that retails it as a point and click adventure with magic and mystery and a female protagonist. No, I don't mind playing as a female in general. I've done that before, for instance, within my Shadowrun series. But yes, the magic and mystery is what pulled me to this game. Now, I know it is not extremely popular and is not that much downloaded, but I had an urge to s well, just have a look see. I hope it will be good, and I hope you are ready to enjoy the ride with me. Let's see and start a new game. The River Thames is called the Isis in Oxford, after the Egyptian, I assume, goddess. Ooh, little face in the cloud. It's completely dead. assistant for Dr. Stiles. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. Cognitive Abnormality Research. I can't believe what I did last night. I need to get out of here before they figure out who I really am. So, that means they're trying to research abnormal so, somewhat odd brain matters. Now, this lady I know from the store page is a street mage, and this Dr. Styles has become a rather reclusive doctor. I have no idea what the rest of the story is. Let's see if it's any good. Learn how to play by helping Sam get her pet rabbit Houdini. Of course, one of the greatest magicians ever to be. You need to find Houdini and then give him food and water. First, find Houdini. Look around the room. Move the cursor over items that look interesting. Click on everything that gives you a special cursor. Alright. Oh, I think Houdini is over there. And so I think he's nibbling on the plant. Bad Houdini. Houdini! There you are. Are you scared? Or just up to your usual tricks, you furball, you? I was worried. Oh, by the ears? Ugh. Stay put for at least ten minutes, will you, Who? 
Good. You still need to give Houdini food and water. Check around the room to find these items. Make sure not to miss Sam's backpack. By the way, that's an extremely small cage for Houdini. You poor thing being dragged all over creation. We have to leave again soon, but I'll get you some food and water before we go. It's kind of weird. But uh, there's a the backpack. In a sense, this feels a little bit like I, I still am. still have some Houdini goodies left. That rabbit eats better than I do. You find the carrot. Now give it to Houdini. Access the inventory by moving the cursor over the top of the screen. Right click on the carrot to ready it. Then cl left click on the cage to feed Houdini. You can always unready an item by right clicking on it again in the inventory. That sounds pretty normal, but this looks like Houdini's the water. water bottle. Unfortunately, it's empty. Amazing considering how soaked I got last night. Also interesting that you have, for instance, Frankenstein novel, as well as magic book. My first magic book. The tricks are kind of juvenile, but the basic techniques are timeless. I never go anywhere without it. I see and think a picture of mom and dad. Oh. A clean, crisp deck of cards is one of the necessities of life. Hey, mom and dad. Looks like the rain didn't hurt you. That's cool. I'm almost done reading it. Trey Gothic. I don't need to carry it around, though. Trey Gothic. Yes, indeed. A letter from the foster care department back in D.C. I don't need to take it. Foster care? Hmm. A towel is the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have. <laughs> Reference to a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I already like this game. Uh, but yeah, apparently I'm gonna say mom and dad died, foster parents, what the heck is All that? All I have is five pounds. I should never have bought that piece of crap bike in Liverpool. It wiped me out. It looked cool, though. A girl traveling alone has to have more than a few tricks up her sleeve. Well, what a word of advice for you there, girls. The Deedless Club London. I will get there, one way or another. Which I assume, uh, regarding Daedalus, that's a Greek reference, but I don't see how that has to do with magic, actually. But, uh, yeah, uh, we have... This needs to go to Houdini. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah, I needed to uh, hold it, right? This needs to go to Houdini. No, all right. Other button? Is that readying it? That's ready. This needs to go to Houdini. That cursor is empty inventory item cursor. It indicates that you need to use one of your inventory items. In this case, a carrot. Access the internet, right click on the carrot and click on the cage. Okay, hold on. I'm doing this wrong, apparently. There you go. The hard stuff. Don't overdo it now. You never could hold your carrots. Good job. Now you need to find water for Houdini. Keep looking around and click on everything that gives you a special cursor. So I have the feeling... So this way it's already loaded. I assume there is a uh, some. I want to get Houdini some food and water before I look around. Oh, I thought it was going to be. Oh no no no! I see it already there. Water pitcher. I thought this was going to the bathroom. My mistake. But yeah, this game was said to be very heavy in story, and I do love me a good story. And I also, as you know, like a little bit the underdog. So you know what? I was very interested in Grey Matter. Let's give him it now. Oh, I need to go back because now it's got filled. Alright. And then we'll go to the cage. By the way, this lady... Donuts super big breasted. Yeah. They do give an emphasis on her cool breast size, right? Water. Congratulations, you looked after Houdini and finished the tutorial. Now you are free to explore the rest of Dread Hill House. Continue. Well, that's kind of an ominous name, isn't it? Dread Hill House? Hmm. Look, I'm walking around with a bit of a swag. I need to get out of here before they figure out I'm an imposter. But first, I need to find a map, or bus schedule, or something so I can figure out where I'm going. Alright. Oh, what the hell is this? This is a little cabinet, apparently. A painting? Some dusty old armor in there. Oh. Dusty? Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. Well, it looks quite realistically painted, to be honest. But, uh, 
does the old armor. You call Frankenstein tre gothic and you call an armor dusty. Mm. Looks like it might be another bedroom. Don't think I'll go there. Why not call that perhaps tre antique? Hmm? Well, that is more in the same line. Girl, do you always sway your hips like that? Yee! Not the feeling you're gonna get yourself a pancake. Einstein and the loading screens are too short. My computer nowadays is just too damn good. Uh, I say that as it loads forever. Not a soul. Pretty quiet too. Oh, that was part of it. Press the spacebar to, to turn the hotspot labels on and off. This function displays all the interactive zones on the screen. Why, what do you know? If you ever get stuck, just hit spacebar. I like that as a function. She's beautiful. Kind of a Grace Kelly type. Wonder who she is. Dr. Stiles, either former assistant's or wife that he wants to get back, who is in eternal sleep, which is abnormal brain activity. That's I not something you'd want to run into while stumbling upstairs in the dark. Oh. Hmm. Little portent to the future. I had a feeling she looks at my cursor a little bit. She looks, look, she looks so much down. Oh. Oh. I do like the rooms and all that stuff. The feel of the game could be good. Could be real good. So let's look at this uh, new assistance envelope. It says, for the new assistant, hopefully by the time they figure out I'm not that person, I'll be long gone. It says... I wanted to pick it up, but apparently she has decided she's still not the new assistant. Look at that statue of a veiled woman. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it's sinister as hell. I love it. <laughs> I do believe she has a bit of the gothic in her, indeed. Let's turn this off, anyway. A phone? There's no one I can call. I don't know a soul here. And I can't call a repair shop because I don't have any money. Oh, dining room? This has to be interactable, is it? What? Oh, owl. Stuffed owls. Adds a nice fresh from the field vibe to dinner. Uh, right. There are a lot of CDs in here, but no maps or addresses. Odd place for a stereo. Maybe it calms down the patients at mealtime. I'm not sure if this is an active place for that, but... Am I staring at watercolors? Alright. Mm hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. Or that one. I don't mind this one, but it's kind of weird at the front here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one as my favorite, but... A couple in a boat. Kind of symbolic of a relationship. Except if it were one of my relationships, we'd be adrift in a storm in the middle of the ocean. I'm sorry? Question mark? These watercolors are good. But I'd say homegrown. Someone in the family must be an artist. Well, there's nothing wrong with homegrown. These watercolors are good. L plus D. Live and die? Laurel and Darty? Uh, yeah, okay, we don't know. These watercolors are good. These water... Interesting, so she only has something to say specifically about the, the middle two. Alright. Uh, I think this was one thing we could look at, uh, Yeah, the heads. Wow. Those are up there. I think they're Viking heads. Uh, yeah, were they, were they supposed to be down there? Uh, the candles we can look at? Alright. Cool candelabra. All I need is a nightgown and a stormy night, and I could play Jane Eyre. Yeah, she do likes her classics. I can see the long drive I came up last night. The road is still there. That's a good thing. Well, I want more curious if you could perhaps open the windows or I don't know, see anyone working the garden. 
China and silver. Fancy. I do like the space function. Simply... That velvet's a bit worn. Bet those chairs have been in this house a long time. Because it does make wow. sure that... You could feed the House of Representatives at this table. Some people have this kind of money. Then there are the rest of us. No, oh, she's a working girl. I should not say that that's an alternative for a prostitute. Should not use a working girl, but uh, yeah. I think I've done everything here. What I like about this function is that you are sure you're never going to have, like, you missed something in particular. Like, you couldn't figure out that something was interactable or what have you not. I'm trying to go into... There's someone in there. I better not. Oh. And this was the kitchen, right? Yeah, the kitchen. Okay. Well, then we're going here. I also kind of like her outfit, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's cool. I do think the sleeves make her hand, arms look like really long, but perhaps I'm now being extremely judgmental in forms of fashion, where I myself have absolutely no fashion sense. I just wear what I like. Uh, well, let's, let's go around the room. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't interact with the guy. Wait, or am I interacting now with the books? Someone must read a lot. Someday I'll have a library. Not something I particularly do a lot, to be honest. If I find a good book, I love to read, mind you. But it has to be something that really speaks to me. Otherwise, I need to have a little bit more senses activated. Gotta have a little bit more of, uh, I don't know, interaction? I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. Hardy har har. There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. Hmm. Interesting, by the way. So her mouth does actually move also on this screen. Ooh, I could really use a bit of that. Even 20 pounds. I'm stone broke. But it's the magician's creed. Never take cash or other valuables. I just can't. Uh, I think that depends on what type of magician. I seem to mean some people do like to magic away your money. <coughs> Lawyers. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, uh, I already did the desk. Sorry. There are no maps or. Uh, let's look here. A box of photos. Well, like that. Oh, so the computer is interactable. I Looks like family this. photos. Nothing of use to me in there. That computer is ancient. It might as well be an abacus. I have no clue what an abacus is. I'm sorry. <laughs> globe. There's no you are here on the globe, unfortunately. Oh, too bad. I was just about to say this is a map of sorts. Lovely. Just what I want to see when I'm waiting in a doctor's office. Oh, well, a lot of doctors do have that. I'm also very curious about this thing. Ooh, it's a demon statue. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. Hmm. Jealous? By the way, this woman's portrait? Very similar to the one that we saw on the staircase. I'm gonna say this is the doctor, this is his wife. Dr. David Stiles. Neurobiology. Hope he finds the assistant he's looking for. Dr. David. Dr. Dr. Doctor. Okay, so no difference between the four of them. But I think that picture is the main telling thing there of that area. You know, this house is downright creepy. And I'm an ex-goth. I know creepy. You're an ex-goth? Is that a thing nowadays? I mean, I can't really say... Someone must read a lot. I can't say that I am, like, truly a goth, but I do... Uh, enjoy certain gothic things, so to speak. Like, I do like dark fantasy, as a lot of you are sure I know as it well. It doesn't look like anyone's used that fireplace in ages. As well as the type of, of thing that comes along with it. What, ashtray? Yeah, ashtray is clickable. I don't smoke. Okay, I would have never uh, also tried to hit that normally, but, uh... Well, I think I have exhausted the things I can do here. Yeah, I am going to go, uh, guess I'm going to go in here. I can't go in the kitchen. I think we're going to run into the doctor over here. It's locked. 
Okay. Perhaps they just want us to interact with a minimal amount of things. I can't move here. I do think I could move in the foyer a little bit more. Front entry. Yeah, you I see? I noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Cool house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. Well, I do as well. I wouldn't mind owning this place, though I can't afford it. A black entry black out oh, there. Yeah, Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. I have to say, I like the way the character looks, and I'm sorry that I'm using space press just a little bit too much. Okay, I'm talking too much, apparently. But it's just such a handy function. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. Not only that, to be honest, but I also like particular the... the for somehow, oh, it's not intrusive to me, because it looks pretty much like the style of... Uh, I tend to use also for my headers, which is, by the way, Old English MT. I stuck my bike in there last night. I'll probably ditch it. It'll cost too much to fix it, and it's a piece of junk anyway. No, I it think... Looks like it could start raining again at any minute. Just my luck. That tower looks strange standing by itself like that. It's almost like a miniature or a replica. I'm betting my... I don't know. I, I'm not a betting man. I bet for the honor that... I, I, I'm just gonna say we're going to have to enter this place. One ten time or another. Full certain. Now, there's also this creepy statue over here. This is going to be where he has stored his wife. I love all this old gothic stuff around here. Neat house. Alright, and I think that we have exhausted everything, right, Space? Yep. We have indeed. So I guess the game didn't want to progress until I actually had read the plague. Plague? The sign up front. You know, if I... Once again, by the way, if you ever have trouble with English, try to find the... to see if you know the synonym for it. In this case, a sign. Because I, I don't really actually know how to pronounce this absolutely 100% accurate. I would go with plague. And then try to diverse it from plague, which of course is an illness that's r running around. Like the Black Plague. I hear someone in there. I better not. Okay. We actually actually look at this statue, but oh, we can't apparently. Um, now I'm a bit stuck already. Don't tell me that right now at the beginning of the game. We're only 23 minutes in. But I assume there is I mean, this is still highly tutorial stuff, right? So I'm just gonna say I probably missed something of interest that I need to note. Picture of couple, books, diploma wall... We all did this already. Can we not read this plaque? The sign? Oh wait, what? We can... Oh, I think I just found out we can run. Yeah, we can if we double click. No I can call. I don't know a Oh, all right, all right. You don't know us all around here. C can you not just take this and see what the new assistant envelope is about? It says. Oh, come on. Grab it. Knock on it. Open this door? No. I guess we're going to go upstairs. I hope I'm not going to be asked to run in order to save my life, because apparently I'm not very reliable with it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we this we missed. So we haven't looked at everything yet. Nor the gargoyles. Looks like a monk or Quasimodo post surgery. Um. Also, David's bedroom. That must be then the David of that is the. Uh, D. Those gargoyles look like they were taken from an old building or something. 
Oh, perhaps they are secondhand. Uh, yeah. I think I've looked at everything. Oh dear. Once again, this portrait looks. One of those blonde. One of those blonde and elegant types. In other words, nothing like me. No, that's not the problem. I just want to see if it was indeed the lady on 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 the front. Can we? I hear someone in there. I better not. Okay. What do we have? We have a wallet, a deck of cards, a magic handbook, a sense diary. Perhaps we should read this? Ah, uh, there we go. Diary contains all the dialogues and descriptions you have found. Select the chapter you want by clicking on the number tab. Right click on the page to turn it. Look like a monk. It looks like it could start raining again at any minute, just my luck. The tower looks old and strange. Yeah, so we can flip all through it. I don't smoke, it's locked. Every little thing we've said is in here. That's going to be annoying at some point. By the way, chapter one. Yeah, I already know there's that one. But that makes me think like there is going to be so much stuff we will have to read through. And if you want to find just that L plus D, so this is, this is David. I'm already going to say. And L was her name. What was again her name? Do we have like a note of that somewhere? It takes a moment for her to run, by the way. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. Can I just have a little more insight into it? Yeah, if we go here. Nice cup. No, okay, she doesn't say anything about it. Oh! Did I just click outside the game? I clicked outside the game. I apologize. There we go. Didn't even know I could do that. Oh, uh, well, actually, I know I could do that, but. Hmm. Okay, did I miss something? Computer, it was ancient. We've talked about that. We. Photo of patients. I don't think we've looked actually at that. No, we haven't. Hmm, interesting that although we are supposedly in an institute for abnormal brain activities, abnormal cognitive functions, all of these persons seem to be handicapped. At least, this girl misses two arms, this guy misses a leg, and this lady seems that her Part of her face isn't working properly. Are these some of the doctor's patients? Um, interesting. Hmm. At least now I can say that I think we had everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we had everything. It's locked. Still locked? Alright, then we'll go to the kitchen. Oh! Uh oh! There you are. I was just going to see if he was awake. Oh, hi! You aren't sneaking out on us, are you? Me? Nah. -uh. Come and get your breakfast. I've got eggs, porridge, toast, and ham. Be a shame to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, thanks. I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. Right. How many times Go has ahead, it gone away? Dear. Don't be shy about it. Mm, it smells amazing. I didn't know how you took your eggs, so I made them the way I like them. But I can do them however you like starting tomorrow. I'm not picky. Ta. One way's easy as another. People need a good breakfast, I always say. Oh my god, these are the best eggs I've ever tasted. <laughs> well now, himself does like them fresh. We've got a farmer drops them off every few days. Bit peckish, are you? What 
what do they feed you over there at Oxford? Oxford? Um, the usual. And I never saw anyone in my life as cold, wet and tired as you last night. But we didn't walk all that way. There's a bus stop just down the road, no more than 20 yards. Takes you right to Oxford Centre. Wow. Still going on about them eggs, are you? No, I just can't believe my luck lately. Well, before you go off, himself left instructions for you on the door to the basement. Himself? Oh, I mean Dr. Stiles, of course. He's working down in the lab this morning, doesn't want to be disturbed. Now, I know you must have a question or two. Don't be shy about asking, Samantha. It's Sam, but funny. I don't remember telling you my name last night. It was a tag on your backpack when I washed your clothes. You really should update it to your Oxford address, dear. Wouldn't do having someone ship it back to the States if you lost it now, would it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Mrs. Dalton. I did tell you, but I suspect you were half asleep at the time. The States? This girl is supposedly from the US? Also, she does seem like she is starving. Okay, let's ask a few questions and then call it an episode, shall we? So let's go with, um... Who all lives here? Lord, it must seem a big old empty place to you. Sometimes I forget. It's only himself and me. Just two people? In this huge old house? He can't abide company. Look, he can be difficult. I'll never say otherwise. But no matter what you've heard over there at that university, don't believe it. All I ask is that you make up your own mind. If you can do that, and not be faint of heart, you'll be all right. Okay. But whatever you do, don't mention the accident. Uh, I want to say in a sense goodbye, but let's just not do that. I noticed the painting on the stairway. Beautiful girl. Is that Dr. Stiles' daughter? If you want to get along in this house, that's the sort of thing you don't ask. Ever. Oh, right. Sorry. I think I was right on the money. I think that was L. I think I'm pretty smart. I'm feeling very smug and rather clever right now. I'm going to probably bang my hand in the wall in a few episodes, but uh, for now I feel pretty good. Uh, so, ahem. You know, before I came to Oxford, I would have never imagined there was so much uninhabited countryside so nearby. Oh, there's plenty of country around here. And thank heavens for it. How long does the bus take to get into Oxford Centre? 30 minutes, like. Makes a lot of stops on the way. By the by, what college are you in? Did the student employment office say it was St. Edmund Hall? Or am I thinking of something else? Mm, it is St. Edmund Hall. Nice college from what I've heard. Hmm. Oh dear, one lie begets another. I think you should do that. By the way, sorry there, I hit the mic twice. Well, I couldn't help myself, apparently. How far are we from London? London? Ooh, hour and a half, I'd say. Car or train would run you about the same. Of course, you'd never catch me driving in London. Oh, not for a million pounds. That's not bad. Far enough away to be grateful, not so far as to be sorry. <laughs> Or so the locals say. I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? What does that mean, exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. How excited they were. It was busy, too. Or starting to be. Then something happened and... Well, he closed it. But what does that mean? Cognitive Abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. He's retired now? Well, you could say that. He hasn't seen patients in years. Right, Dr. Hellborn. How a lovely family name that is. I can't believe that that is very coming around there in the UK or in the States. So, what exactly does Dr. Stiles' assistant do around here? I mean, as you see it. Never had one before. I'm sure they told you at the student employment office. 
It's mainly paperwork he wants done. Files sorted, computer work, things of that sort. You should have plenty of time to keep up with your studies. I told him there's no use sending over a medical student. He'd never let you touch his actual work. I take it you're not in the sciences. Was it the tattoos that gave me away? No offence, dear. <laughs> what is it that you study? Um, English Lit. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, I wanted to ask, will you be wanting the room or will you be staying at the university? The room? The room you were in last night. It's yours whenever you want it. It's empty otherwise, isn't it? Tempting. Meals too. If you're late, I'll leave your dinner in the fridge. I'm sure a girl like you knows how to use a microwave. <laughs> sure. Well then, I think we have done everything. Let's uh, let's go bye bye. Well, with that then, I think it is time to say goodbye. I am actually quite intrigued with this game so far. Quite curious where the story goes. Don't mind playing something rather mysterious and said I, I kind of like that. I do love me a bit of golf, as uh, our lady protagonist Sam here would say, and I, uh, I, I do feel like this could be a, a good way to get away from a few things. I do think that Sam here is getting herself though in a lot more trouble than she has bargained for at the very beginning. But that we will discover in the next episode. I say thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.